Hi everyone, this is Eileen here from SingaporeOlevelMax.com. In this video today, I'm going to share with you how to do conversion of speed time graph into distance time graph. Before I go into the details itself, it is important for us to find out something about certain lines and curves. There are basically five relationships that I want to establish. Let's take a look at this five. Oh, now, on the screen right now, you see there are five um, curves and lines. We're going to zoom in on the first one. Notice the curve in red. And uh, you should see that uh, there are blue lines on the curve itself. That is actually indicative of the gradient. Notice something about this number one curve. Notice the blue line. Does the gradient get gentler or steeper? I hope you see that as you go further, the from um, left to right, the gradient in fact gets gentler. So which means to say, this is a curve with decreasing gradient. Let's move on to curve number two, as indicated by the red line here, red, red uh, drawing here. Notice the blue line. Now, I hope you see that this blue line indicated an increasing gradient, meaning to say the curve is getting steeper and steeper as we move from left to right. Alright, so now you notice that um, for the two curves we mentioned about gradient. The same is going to be applied for the subsequent three lines that we see. Line number three. Now this sort of line is what we call, it has what kind of gradient? Constant gradient. And in this case, it is positive constant gradient. Let's move on. Number four. This line here has zero gradient. Number five, we are back to a line with constant gradient. In this case, it is negative. It is very, very important for you to, to identify, be able to identify which are the lines or curves that will give us each of the respective gradient. Because later on in a conversion, you'll find that it is much easier to proceed once you, you are familiar with these five uh, curves and lines. I'm going to show you in the, in the next uh, example. Let us now go to a table of summary. What you see on the screen now is a summary table. And what is given to you is the speed time graph. Now, first question you should be asking yourself is that, how do we get the distance? How do we get the information of uh, speed from distance time graph? It is in fact through the gradient. So that is the reason why just now we talk about the five lines. Um, which one has increasing gradient, decreasing gradient, positive gradient, constant gradient, zero gradient, negative constant gradient. Now let us take a look at how we apply over here. In a speed time graph, it, a line indicated by this show an increasing speed. So for distance time graph, I need to draw a line or curve that show increasing gradient. And if you actually go back to the previous um, relationship that we established, let me just uh, bring you back. It will be curve number two that indicated the increasing gradient. So what I'm going to do right here is to fill up with curve number two. Let me just use a different color for you to see clearer. So this shall be it. Increasing gradient. Next, let's move on to the next one. So this next uh, line here in the speed time graph indicate constant speed. So in this case, we must have a line or curve that shows us constant gradient. So let's go back to um, the previous page. And you realize for constant gradient, it is either option 3 or 5. 
To make things uh, simpler for us, we'll just choose the one that is positive. So it'll be number 3, line number 3. So we can just fill it up. Or the line. Alright, last one. Notice in uh, the last case, we have a decreasing speed. So we need to draw a line that shows decreasing gradient. Let us go back. So for decreasing gradient, you realize that there is only one option. That is option number one. So that is how we should be drawing that curve. So that is the summary and there is no need for you to memorize anything. But you realize how important it is to know the five curves and lines um, property real well. It will really come in useful in a while. Let us now take a look at an example. Example, the diagram is a speed time graph of an object during a period of 15 seconds. On the diagram below, sketch the distance time graph of the object for the whole 15 seconds of its motion. Now I'm going to break down um, the approach into three main steps. Step number one is for you to zoom in at your speed time graph and write down in very simple language what kind of motion we are observing. And this graph it is divided into three sections. So let's begin. For the first size again, we see that the object is experiencing decreasing speed. From 5 to 12, constant speed. And for the last uh, for 3 seconds, it is increasing speed. This will allow us to know what kind of curve or line for us to draw in the distance time graph. So for the first part, since it's decreasing speed, what we need to do is to reflect a line that shows decreasing gradient. I'm just going to use G to represent gradient. Constant speed, so I need to show a line that has constant gradient. Last 3 seconds is increasing speed, so I need to show a line or curve with increasing gradient. I hope you are following with me so far. Let me repeat step 1. Step 1 is to zoom in on speed time diagram. Jot down what is the object experiencing in each section. After that, map it over in terms of gradient. Now, the next thing that you want to do is to calculate the distance travel in each of the three section. So uh, this part, I'm not going to go into details of that. If you're not sure, um, please refer to my earlier post, which will teach you the basic of how to calculate distance from speed time graph. So just a very brief one. F to find the distance travel in the first five seconds, you notice that we need to find the area under the graph, which happens to be a trapezium in this case. So we apply formula for area of trapezium. You should get 175, which is the distance travel. 5 to 12 seconds, distance travel will be 140. Last 3 seconds, distance travel will be 85. So now we are ready to draw. So I need to draw a line or curve that represents decreasing gradient. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which one would it be? It will be option number 1. It's a curve that shows decreasing gradient. So I'm going to just draw it in. Here I am going to put in the distance travel, which is 175. Next part, constant speed. So I must have constant gradient. And uh, it is positive because the distance travel has to be positive value. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which one do you think it is? I hope you choose 3. So use a ruler, draw in your 3. Now, to indicate the distance travel, we are talking about the total distance travel so far. So I need to get 175 at another 140, which is 315. And for the last 3 seconds, uh, we need to show a line of curve with increasing gradient. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which curve or line should I draw? 
Did you choose two? Congratulations if you have done that. That is the correct one. So, there we go. And if you add up the three distance, it should end up with uh, 400 as well as indicated on the diagram. So, that is the way of how you convert speed time graph into distance time graph.